time for another edition of the Kenyan Student Athlete Spotlight. Clayton Kaufman coming to you with one of the senior leaders on the ladies' soccer team. She's Maddie Jacobs. And Maddie, a very good year for us in conference play. Uh, we've got three matches left. Uh, what have you made of your team's play so far? And where do we go from here and hopefully locking up a uh, high seed in the NCAC tournament? Uh, yeah, the year has been really exciting so far. Um, we had a little bit of a learning curve at first. I mean, we had a lot of new players, yeah. um, but they are huge contributors to the team, and uh, we are so lucky and excited to have them. And uh, my class has been together that four years, and we've provided a lot of leadership all together. Uh, the junior class is really strong, a lot of great contributors from them, as well as the sophomore class. It's great. Uh, and we've really uh, evolved into working well, cohesively as a unit, uh, and we have the same mentality when we're going into games. Uh, it's very exciting, uh, really pumped to be on the field with them all the time. And uh, for the next couple of games, like we're just looking uh, to pull out wins in all of them. Yeah, you talk about a lot of freshman contributions, sophomore, underclassmen. Mm -hmm. As a senior, what do you say to them out on the field? Because they're still in their first year and each game they're getting better. But what's important to you to direct them in the best way possible for us to succeed? It's really important for uh, us as seniors or just upperclassmen in general to try and relay what we're feeling and how we felt in the past years to our freshmen or our sophomores just so that they can understand where we're coming from and what significance there is in certain games and si certain situations, try and put them in our mindset because uh, we have that past experience when re we really like them to try and latch on to that. Okay. You personally, um, you've played and started every match this season, 15 mm -hmm. of them, and the previous two years... Uh, you had some some injuries, some internal stuff, some some blood clots, and yeah. uh, how how refreshing is it being out there with your team after overcoming some uh, some adversity? Um, it's really uh, I'm very thankful for it. Honestly, I didn't know if I would ever play again after uh, my freshman year and all the things that I went through in the summer, um, but. You know, my parents helped me through it, and my family helped me through it. The team helped me through it a lot. Uh, it was a really difficult time, but I am so happy to be playing soccer. That's all I wanted to do. Um, and last year, after I tore my meniscus, it was like oh, all over again, mm -hmm. back in the hospital. But uh, I'm just so happy to be back on the field playing soccer. And um, yeah. What, what did uh, Coach Brian say to you over the, the last 12 months where, mm -hmm. hey, just hang in there. You're going to be back. What, what did she say to you? Um, Coach Brian has really been instrumental in this process for me. Uh, I like to try and keep positive in almost any situation, but it was hard, you know, when uh, bad things would happen. And uh, she always tried to keep me on the same page that I always tried to be on. Uh, she always wanted me to try and see the light at the end of the tunnel. And if she ever saw me, like, um, like just dropping a little bit, she'd be like, MJ, that's not you. And she, she would help me back up again. She was always keeping in contact with me. I always wanted to move, um, make sure that I was okay. She was really great. All right. Uh, our final regular season home match for you and five other seniors, Aisha, Anna, Sarah Beth, Becca, and Becca Katie. Katie Honer. What is that going to mean to you uh, Saturday against Hiram? Um, it's definitely going to be an emotional game. I remember sophomore year, uh, the first game that I played on that field. Uh, and the significance that that held, the weight that that held. And I think it's going to be difficult for a lot of people uh, saying goodbye to that field in a sense. Um, but it's a culmination of all of the work that we've put in over the past couple of years. And while it's sad, it's a great thing also. Okay. Let's look at you personally now, uh, outside, as a, outside as a student. Uh, you're from Potomac, Maryland. You are in yeah. uh, political science. And yeah, history, uh, history minor. What do you want to do with that? And did your parents kind of push you into that, or is this something you've always been interested in? Um, I came into Kenyon originally looking at the English program, as most people do. But um, I took an introductory political science class, and that's just kind of how I got into it. I love uh, the discipline. I love the professors. Um, but eventually, I don't, I don't want to go into politics. Eventually, I would like to be in higher education administration. I love uh, academia and uh, the world of academics and the world of undergraduate or graduate education. And okay. so uh, here's where I would like to stay. And so hopefully getting a master's and a doctorate in that eventually. Pretty impressive. Hopefully, we'll okay. see. Uh, you're the senior class president as well. Describe that. I mean, you're leading your class. And well, 
why did you why did you want to do that and uh, how, how has it been um, well I was always involved in student government in high school I just I like uh, being involved I like being able to give a voice to people who necessarily aren't able to um, uh, I like to hear what people have to say and just uh, trying to better the environment and the culture of the college. I okay. mean, I love Kenyon and I want to give back to it in any way that I can. Absolutely. Uh, my next question for you, uh, everyone has that dream job. Mm -hmm. Five years from now, if, if you have that, what is it and uh, what would you like to be doing? Um, in five years, hopefully I'll be done with uh, grad school. Mm -hmm. I'll have gotten a master's in uh, higher education administration. I would love to be working uh, as a dean or a provost eventually somewhere, that would be, that's the ultimate job for me. Okay. It's the end game. So you're uh, in your final year? Yeah. Hard to believe it, it flies by, doesn't it? It does. What do you want people to remember you by when you're, uh, when you're gone in, in you know, six months or so? Let's see. Um, I hope that people will always remember me as someone who kept smiling, who stayed optimistic, who was always willing uh, to talk, who uh, was always willing to bring someone in who was a little bit more shy, maybe. Um, just to be a friend to anyone who needed it. Okay. Maddie, I want to thank you for your time. Good luck okay. this weekend and thank this time, you. and we'll see you out there. Sounds good. That was Maddie Jacobs, a senior from Potomac, Maryland. Her final regular season home match uh, on Saturday against Hiram at Senior Day at 1 o'clock. We hope to see you there. For the Kenyan Student Athlete Spotlight, for Maddie Jacobs, I'm Clayton Kaufman. We'll see you next time.